today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Aki Bento monthly anime subscription box service. If you like anime, you'll love Aki Bento as every single month you get a box of anime themed items delivered right to you. They may be delivered to you by a giant monster. They may be delivered to you by a samurai. Who's to say? They might even just be delivered to you by the courier who could potentially be a monster underneath all that, his skin. You know, he'll just take that off every night as his costume, hang it up onto the coat rack, and then dress himself up like a courier the next day. I'm giving you information that maybe you already know, or maybe I'm saying too much. Something might happen to me. I don't know. At any rate, Haki Bento has a rod for this month. We're going to open this up and find out what we got inside. Sounds fun? Sounds fun. For this, I'm going to need myself a knife, and I got old right here. Let's go ahead and cut the tape on the front, just like that. And let's see what we got inside from Aki Bento. And, uh, wow, well, I don't even know where we should start. Let's start maybe with the t-shirt as we normally do here. We've got a t-shirt here. It looks like it's Gundam. Check the size, size is good. Now, the thing is with anime, there is so many, so much anime out there in the world. Spot may probably not know the names of some of these, so I do certainly apologize in advance. In advance. Okay, so we got ourselves kind of a, does look like a Gundam shirt. Nice red shirt. I don't have a lot of red shirts. Put that to the side. We also get ourselves Mobile Suit Gundam. This looks like it's a building kit. There's some some assembly required, but I'm sure we can handle this. I say that and then watch it just be like a million pieces. Okay, well, it's two pieces and no building was required. Cut the plastic here to let him out. It also comes with a little small firearm, which I will also need to free from its plastic prison via my knife, which I might add, and I mentioned this, I'm sure, in other videos as well, my knife really needs, I need to get a new blade. I really could just, I'll just break the blade, but you can see how much destruction and damage Red has done over the last couple of months of cutting tape on these boxes. Yes, indeed, I think it's time. I'm going to have to change the blade. I'll just have to break it to probably about there, and it will be as good as new. What's interesting to note about these little Gundam figures is they're poseable. I can move the legs, the arms, and I can also move the head, but they feel like erasers. Like everything on it feels like it's an eraser. I can go ahead and add its weapon, which again is, as you can see, very rubbery. Put that into his arm. There's hand. There we go. And I got myself a cute little Gundam. Now, I'm not sure the actual, let's see here. This would be Zakui, Z-A-K-U-I. Don't know if that's how you correctly pronounce it. He looks very cool though. Zakui. I would have loved to just to get a regular Gundam, but uh, uh, pretty cool though. Comes to us from Bluefin Distribution. I'll be finding a place on my desk for that. Yes, my 20 foot desk. Just kind of goes for miles and miles and miles. We also have uh, Evangelion Assault Action Q. The lineup consists of Eva 13. A couple of different 13s. One with four arms, one with two arms. There's an Eva 8. And on the back. And on the side. All right, let's open this one up. The beauty of boxes such as Aki Bento is also the fact that uh, I get op opportunities to get collectibles where I wouldn't normally find them in stores. You can luck out sometimes and go to local comic book stores and they just happen to have these. They usually have them by the checkout, if anything, because they're always like add-on items. You know, if you're checking out for the day, you've had a look at all the purchases and things that you've picked up and you want to check out with, the add-on areas are always the best areas for stores to sell additional items to you. And in this case, well, this is a case where I would not have probably had these in local stores. So that's really cool. And this one is uh, Evangelion Product Model 2. Number 2. This is what it again looks like on the side there. Looks like it comes with a couple of blades. And what's neat is that the blades... The blades are on trays, like also the hands. 
So I guess for weapons, I'm going to grab these two like that. And I want to take the other one off too. So I'm going to have to put this into the socket. This will then allow it to hold its weapons. There we go. It's posable too. Can, uh, can, hopefully you guys can see that. Full ball joint rotation in the arms, double hinged elbows. Doesn't look like it rotates anywhere. It does rotate the hands, obviously, because I just pegged those in. Uh, ball joint at the top, or some equivalent of a ball joint, slightly pivots. Pivot point down by the waist. Ball joint legs, knees, legs. Very, very poseable. Doesn't really come with a display stand, not that I can see, which I guess is the only thing I would have also added to this. It's a little display stand. Yeah, because it does, it has like a little peg on the back, but it doesn't really peg into anything to what I can see. Comes with a couple of swords, and it also appears the swords, yes they do, connect to one another. So I can give it a really long sword. Just clip it into its hand. Very cool little piece though. Again, I wish it had a display stand though or something to kind of just hold it up. It's super poseable, but just keeping it up might be the biggest issue. I love it though. I really, I, a little two collectible pieces I can add to my desk. Him right here and him right here. Oh, it actually does stand. I'm actually surprised. It's standing. All right, so we got ourselves a shirt. We got ourselves two collectibles. It looks like we got also a towel. I'm curious. Let's see here. Uh, it is a bath towel with Kuru, uh, Kuru Ruji uh, Suzaku from Code Geese. And it is a towel. Which I'm just kind of the. There we go. Just take the hanger off. You don't see a lot of towels in subscription services. But as you can see, it's a full printed towel. Long towel too. Wow, that's, I mean, that's only half the towel that folds out a lot more. I just won't be able to fit it all on camera. I'm just gonna fold that up, put that to the side. I do apologize if I blocked everybody's vision there for a second. Also got ourselves a pin, Haki Bento Mecca. Perhaps that would be this month's box, Mecca. And I think we got a couple other things in here as well. A poster. Very, very big poster. Whoa, that's so big. I, that, I can't even, let's see if I can actually fit it. We'll start at the bottom and we'll work our way up to the top and hopefully the camera's gonna see it. There's the top of the poster. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There's a head there, another head. There's the bottom of it. I guess it's a mobile suit poster. I'm not quite cer certain the series, but it's a considerably large poster. Let's see if maybe the card will tell us. Oh, I think it does. Okay, so Aki Bento for this month, I guess entitled Mecca. The back side, we have one of eight Assault Kingdom or Evangelion uh, action figures. We have a Mecca uh, shirt, one of six towels from Code Geese, there's the Mecca poster. Hopefully you guys can see it there. Probably a lot better than I tried showing you in person. The Aki Bento uh, monthly pin and one of five Gundam models. A good little haul inside this. It's not quite red. It's not quite pink. It's kind of like a reddish pink box. If you guys are interested though in getting Aki Bento delivered to your house every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe today. Today, we're having a look at Aki Bento's Mecca subscription box. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. See you next time.